It's been a busy yet successful day for Long Beach Wilson's Rachel Glenn. First and foremost, congratulations. Thank uh, you. Division I 100 meter hurdles champion, Division I 300 hurdles champion, <laughs> Division I high jump champion as well. I'm out of breath saying all those <laughs> things, but again, congratulations. Uh, Thank you. We'll, we'll start with your hurdles races. Uh, we'll start with the 100 hurdles. Um, again, like we talked about last week, things look very rhythmic for you, yeah. very, very much in sync. Mm -hmm. Take us through that particular race. Um, the 100 meter hurdles, so basically going into the 100 meter hurdles, last week again I said I had to be the first to the hurdle, but this week was different because I actually had some competition who was like with me the entire time. So like, we were, we were together, I want to say like 50 meters, 25 into the race, so then around 50 meters that's when I started to pull away, and then my coach, I never noticed this, but my coach said, like literally the last hurdle, I like jogged through the finish line, and I guess, I mean, I don't know, but I guess like, this happens naturally, so today I really had to, like, spin off the last hurdle and dive through the finish line. Well, after that one, you go to the 300 hurdles, and that one, there was a little bit more of a margin there. Um, what worked on that particular race that allowed you to pull away so effortlessly there? Um, basically, I don't want to say I run out of fear, but I run out of fear. Like, I don't want to get caught at all. So basically, I kept going because you never know there could be somebody right here. And you can't, you can't tell because obviously you can't look back. So literally just keep running until the race is over. You got to pretend that there's someone like right on your tail because there might be. Now, even if though there wasn't obviously a sub 42 second yeah. race for you, which is obviously what you want to start to see. How do you feel going into the Masters meet and then so the state the meet in the 300 hurdles? Um, I feel really away. confident that I can PR and possibly win state meet. 100 hurdles, maybe I can like top five. Because my strongest suit is the 300 meter hurdles, so I feel like I can make it to state meet. I mean, again, it's my first year doing doing this, so we'll see how it goes, how far I can take it. And then uh, we're going to the high jump. Obviously, as the defending state champion there, hopefully no ties this yeah. year. Uh, how do you feel in that event? Uh, have five, six clearance here today. Mm -hmm. Going now to the Masters meeting yeah. on the state, what are you looking forward to doing to try to recapture that state championship? Definitely, I want to get up to five ten in that area. Um, today's today's meet, I mean today's jumps didn't go as planned. I mean I made it to Masters, so I guess that's all that matters. But I did want to get higher than I jumped today. It wasn't the best. And then finally, you know, conserving energy obviously got to yeah. be important. You got a lot of events here. Yeah. The hurdles, the high jump, the relay. You know, how are you able to kind of make sure that you have enough to compete in all these events yeah. at a high level? Um, so, having a lot of protein and staying hydrated. Because I'm vegetarian, so I don't eat it all. So, so I always have to have chia seeds in my water or a protein shake with me. I drink a lot of coconut water. So I always have to have lots of supplements and energy supplements to, to go back and forth between races. Well, obviously a lot of energy here today, hold successful Valley, energy. To Division one, 100 meter hurdles down. champion, Division one, 300 hurdles league champion, and our Division one high jump champion, Rachel Glenn of Long Beach Wilson. Congratulations, Thank Rachel. You.